What's up, tubers? Welcome back to the channel. Got another What's in the Box video for you. Today we're working with the Tamiya 124th scale Citroen 2CV. The 2CV, deux chevaux, or two horses. Uh, it was made from 1948 to 1990, a 42-year production run, with about a 1,000 sold in the U.S., it was built with really specific requirements to be able to carry four people and 50 kilograms of goods at 30 miles an hour through the rough countryside of the times, you know, bumpy, muddy fields. Uh, the suspension was suggested that it should carry a basket of eggs through said rough terrain without breaking any and making an omelet while getting 80 miles to the gallon. Through its run, the two CVs came with an air-cooled 375 two-cylinder nine brake horsepower engine at a whopping 40 miles an hour top speed. Uh, later, there was a 14, a 16 horsepower, and then peaking with a 602 cc 33 brake horsepower, and also a version with two engines in the front and the rear. Uh, its construction is similar to how planes of the day were built, with a steel body bolted to metal tubes. And suspension was cutting edge for its time, giving the car really unique driving capabilities that you'll never roll. Maybe oversteer into everything, but it's not going to roll. So we're going to get into this thing and take a look at it. Uh, I've already opened it. It was a Facebook Marketplace score. Super cheap, super close, great deal. Uh, I saw the pictures that it was sealed bags and it looked like the only only issue, if it's even an issue, was the engine halves were off of the tree. So yeah, no, no big deal. So, you know, these uh, Tamiya bags are pretty easy to get into. Um, pop the body out look at that and it immediately you can see it's got some really nice crisp details throughout the whole thing like all the panel lines are really deep nice pronounced uh you know drip rails and everything it's definitely going to paint up and detail up really well uh you know holes for uh, pin registries where things go looks like it's going to be a good clean build um I didn't see on the box when this came out, when this kit came out. It's, you know, it's not a new kit by any means. Uh, the decals, I'm going to leave them in the bag. It looks like a little bit of yellowing in them. All I really see is there's, there's some instrument clusters, some striping, license plates, and I don't know if that one's going to work or not, but that's pretty neat. And the instruction manual is, you know, typical to me a uh, style really crisp lines good color call outs good indications of where things go and in what sequence uh definite definite props to them for their their manuals are always you know uh, enjoyable to use so you got one chrome tree with uh you know wipers mirrors door handles uh some other handles like the the bonnet and then the headlights, which I read uh, while I was doing research for this car, the headlights were adjustable. You could move them up and down and back and forth a bit to adjust for terrain or driving conditions. This car was kind of ahead of its time, like with the suspension. We'll talk about that briefly in a minute. Let's go through the uh, engine tree. The two halves, put them together, and you can see it's, it's, it thing is tiny. This will be the smallest engine I've I've put together yet. But you know, you can see it's got. I guess those would be its two cylinder heads and some fans, or fans tubing, and then a fan intakes, fan cover. Cool. So nice details on it. You know, it's. Uh, it's definitely going to build up well. And the windows, again, we'll leave those in the back so they don't get scratched, but all single piece, uh, going to, you know, be challenging to get those in without getting your fingerprints all over them. <laughs> That's always fun. And all the markers, and mark those up orange and red and appropriate colors for turn signals. 
We'll uh, open the body parts, the seats with it's got a little bit of a textured feel to it. So those will those will paint up nice and look uh, like a, a rough leather or or fabric. Same with the top, the the roll top has a little bit of a texture to it. It's different than the body itself, so that will that will show. Or you can see it right next to the hood. See, so it's a little bit duller. Um, and then the roll for if you want to have the top down. Uh, bumpers, the headlights, the adjustable thing I was talking about, steelies and your bonnet and then interior inner fenders rather and the last bag being the uh, underside and suspension get out of here there's you know your suspension components your front and rear uh, and trailing arms and front and rear independent suspension and the dampening the the cushioning of the, for the pitch the up and down bouncy bouncy look, look at that not that, it's fascinating it's got a, a cylinder there those would go in that one would go out and it would compensate pretty cool uh you know single piece uh underside door cards have a nice detail on them as well you know so those can be painted up to make it look like uh you know whatever color the door cards would actually be an interesting single spoke steering wheel um and left hand drive of course that's about it for what's in the box of this neat little Citroen 2CV, Blue Chevrolet. Um, it's also a Bond car, so I'm, I'm probably going to build it up as a companion for the DB7 whenever whenever I get it. I know it's out, I just, it, ugh, it's, it's a little expensive for what it is, but again, got to have it, you know, Bond. James Bond. <laughs> so that's about it. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.